All right, what's up guys? Welcome back, Treetop Garage. I know it's the middle of the week, and not even the middle of the week yet, but I just got this spray gun, actually, I bought on Amazon. Similar to the one that uh, my buddy Troy used when he primered this, uh, my Baker gasser. And if you're not familiar with his channel, Troy's, Rest Troy's Car Restoration, or Troy's Restoration, I'll put a link down below. And I'll put a link to this uh, spray gun, too. Uh, it comes with all kind of stuff. I'm going to bring you over here we'll unbox it and i'll kind of just put it together and then i want to i got to put some primer on the car here now now that i'm done kind of sanding all the little filler areas and whatnot so let me pause you we'll come over here to the table just kind of see what all comes with and we'll be right back all right guys so i got this on amazon i'll put a link i don't remember the name of it but i got a i'll put a link in the description down below this is like a full kit so you get your tool to disassemble it, you get a toothbrush for cleaning it, you get a little filter, which sometimes I haven't used those a lot in the past. Sometimes I have noticed they get clogged up really easy. You get a bunch of these disposable cups. Uh, actually, this is your what you measure with, but this is the liner that goes in. And you get a bunch of your little lids, which have the, there's another part in here. We'll get to that in a second, but it's a bunch of lids, and it comes with the adapter for the lid to snap into. So you get a bunch of lids. Um, they even give you Teflon tape because it comes with this actually pretty nice regulator. I'm not sure if there's a water trap on this thing or not. I should probably look and see. It looks like this would be a water trap right here with a little, it's got a little valve on it. I think that's what that is. I'm not sure. There's instructions I think in here. We'll look at that in a sec. It also has three different needle and uh, tip sizes. This one is 2.0, which is the biggest one. This one is, I think, 1.7, which is what I'll be putting in there for this epoxy primer. Not epoxy primer, the uh, 2K primer that I'm going to use. That's your ring that goes on there. Actually, it goes over, over this and connects to the bottom half of it. And here's the adapter. Or, I guess this one. It just goes on here and twists over. It looks like it just kind of goes on. It twists on there. I'm pretty sure you got to kind of press it down and push over, twist it on. So and then you get the instructions. Maybe this has the name of whatever it is. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll put a link uh, to the Amazon. This thing was like $54 and it comes with all this stuff. That's why I got it, really. I'm trying to see if there's a... I don't see anything that has anything about the water regulator on here. Or the regulator. Uh, and then, of course, you get the spray gun right here. You can get this in like two different colors. I got the black one just because it was a little cheaper. Um, actually, it's got a name right there. Gadalic. Gattel, I don't know. Maybe you guys can read that. That's the name of it. Uh, actually, pretty ergonomic. It's got a nice little handle on it. Um, pretty nice. We'll see how it sprays in a few minutes here. So, <clears throat> first thing you gotta do, this has got a 1.4. That's the smallest tip. It's got that. So, we gotta take some pieces apart here. So, we'll take the nozzle off. Be sure this guy gotta come off. We'll get the tool out. I'm going to set this off to the side. We got the tool. We'll take that off. And I believe to get the needle out, you got to take this out. It's been a while since I did one of these. And I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Let's see what tool fits this guy. I think it's this one. This one fits that. That's tightening, of course. Looks like pretty nice brass in here, and I don't know if this is probably not brass, but huh? I want to break nothing. Let me uh, try. I'm trying not to 
be too rough with it. I don't want to break it before I even use it once. All right, there we go. Those in there are kind of tight. So you got to remember to keep all this stuff together. So you don't want to lose any of this stuff. Because you got to, obviously, if you ever have to put any of this stuff back together, you're going to need it. So we got a spring in there. And we have to actually, I know it's coming out. I know there's like a little sleeve that stays on there right here. So we need the 1.7, which is this one, I believe. 1.7. So we'll take all this stuff out. And put it all in there now so I don't forget it. I don't want to forget to put nothing in there. So go ahead and we're going in the right way with that. Here. Better end up tightening it up. This I want to separate so I don't get them mix, mixed up or anything. Spring back in. Adjustment screw. This is what adjusts your amount of material that comes out. I'll leave it. We'll have to see how it sprays once I get some paint in it and stuff. But really easy to change. Tighten that up a little bit. 1.7. I'm going to go ahead and put the. Like that. So that's good. Now I'm going to take all this 1.4 stuff and put it back in here so I don't lose it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away. And we'll put our regulator on. I'm pretty sure this has got to be a water filter on this thing because it's got like a little drain on it. Actually, i got to see if I even have a, I should have one, a, uh, i got to see if I even have a, I should have a fitting to screw that in. Let me go get a wrench. I'll look for a fitting. And then, actually, I gotta put this on here. This is your adapter for the cup. Put this on here. I'll tighten that up. And also, I was gonna put this water filter on, but I'm pretty sure we got one right here. So, I'm gonna pause this. I'll be right back. And we'll see how this thing does.
All right, guys, so I didn't really go over how I clean this thing. After I pulled the cup off, you put the cup down, you unscrew this thing, it just pops off. The cup with the measurements, you save that, and you save the locking ring that locks the liner and the top on into that cup that was on here with the measurements. And then you just take and you hold the trigger, and you just put lacquer thinner in here and just flush it out that way. That's what I did. It actually worked out really good. Um, and then you just do it into a bucket or whatever you want. Um, but yeah, this, uh, the water filter on this, which I'm assuming what it is, it had no water in it. I am running a water filter over there on the wall, so I didn't know if this had a water filter or not. When I first opened it, I thought maybe it was, and I couldn't find nothing in the instructions, but I'm assuming it is because, like I said, it's got this little release button right here. The gauge seemed to work pretty good. This little regulator, it came with it as well. All this all was in a kind of a unit, and, um. Yeah, I dialed down about 30-something pounds, 30 pounds-ish. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be at, but it's, it was in the green. Right there. Put it right, in the, right at the bottom of the green. And it seemed to spray okay. I probably could have went a little bit higher on the pressure, but it seemed to do okay. Um, like I said, I think I mixed it a little bit too thick still because it was coming out. kind of wasn't really laying real flat, but now that it's starting to dry, it's just actually laying, it's looks pretty flat now. So, but yeah, I mean... This thing is pretty versatile. It seems like I could probably use this for most anything because it's got all different tip sizes. Um, this is my first one of these. I got two or three other ones over there. I got an old suction feed one I've had for like 25 years, which I don't know what size tip is in that, which is why I bought this originally. And I do have another one similar to this with the cup. It's not, you know, the, the big stainless steel cup, but that thing quit spraying real good about 10 years ago, and I have not, I've, I've taken it apart and cleaned it a bunch of times, and it never did spray right. Like it wouldn't, it wouldn't spray worth the worth the crap. So I figured, well, it's probably time for another one. Like I said, I've had that one, both of those, for a long time. So I bought this one because this is similar to what the one that Troy had or has. He's got a, a bunch of them. I think they're a little little different than these, but seems to work pretty good. Um, yeah. So uh, there was something else I was gonna say. Oh. So yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be able to stand on this thing for a few days, which doesn't matter because I'm not going to be around too much from because I'll be working. So this weekend I'll start probably Saturday or maybe even Friday, depending on how I how it feels. Maybe if it feels like it's pretty pretty hard, I'll start sanding it a little bit on Friday. Um, and I found a few spots that started just a tiny little bit of that wrinkling underneath. So I don't know how. I, hopefully I got I got a little bit left of material. Hopefully I have enough to do. Sand it some more, do a little bit more, and then put, put a little more on it. We'll see. If not, I might have to go buy a little bit more. I don't know. But anyways, guys, real quick, don't forget about the giveaway. We've got a 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on. And uh, in order to get in the giveaway, all you got to do is subscribe. Go to the 1,000 subscriber giveaway video, which I'll put a link in the description for that as well. And all you got to do is subscribe and comment on that video. And you'll be entered in it. It's for a $300 gift card. And I got a t-shirt with my logo on it. But I have to help to buy, you know, whatever size, whoever wins. And probably some stickers and some other stuff. And there's probably going to be a runner-up and maybe even a third prize. We'll see what happens. But for sure a runner-up and a main main winner. So just trying to get to a 1,000. Like I said, tell, tell your friends, whatever. Share this video. Like I said, you got to comment. And if you leave me a comment on any video, I always answer them all. So that's, you know, that's something else. So if you want to ask me a question or just say, hey, what's up? So... Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up on the videos and comment and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.